Hi, my name's John Cordy and I've got a whole load of merch for you to check out in the description and uh, you know, there's t-shirts with my face on them, there's t-shirts with my legs on them, there's t-shirts, all sorts of t-shirts, obviously. Um, today I was just messing around with the FM3 um, Fractal Audio, um, I guess I've had it like a week now and um, initially I would have said that, uh, I did say that I was a little bit overwhelmed with the options and stuff but um, I think I'm in a kind of good place with it now and I've just got to the stage where I'm investigating the plex delay and those kind of settings and stuff so I just put together this little preset um, which can do this hold stuff Um, so I'm using an expression pedal down there to hold the reverb, which is kind of cool. Um, but, I don't know, I just wanted to quickly say that I'm really enjoying this. Um, Um, so that's using the Plex Verb setting um, and then at the end I've also got a normal reverb uh, to do the hold because um, I think if you press the hold um, function in it will stop the reverb from accepting new stuff so you basically have a dry signal on the, the normal guitar um, that isn't held. So. so I want there to also be reverb when I'm still playing. Then on the other scene, I've made use of the um, Shimmer effect. slightly dry so I think what I would do is probably figure out a way to add some reverb to that shimmer. Basically what I've done is I've adjusted the, the reverb size um, Thank you. 
So that's where I'm at with the FM3 at the moment. The thing that I've started doing with the HX Stomp, which is behind me, and um, now I'm going to probably start doing it with the FM3 as well, but I was trying to put together a kind of reverb and delay kind of um, type preset which I could put in front of an amp or however I want to run it or you know with an amp on the actual device itself but that's the reason I don't have any expensive delays or reverbs in the house any longer I sold my Strymon Volante just because I wasn't using it because I'm not gigging anymore and so it's like 400 quid just sitting on the shelf um, but I do use my modelers all the time so I was thinking well do I even need uh, like a posh reverb or a expensive reverb and delay if I can put together a preset that I know I can just stick on a board and even if I'm not using the amp modeling and stuff I'm just using the the reverb and delay like in the loop of an amp and how will that sound so maybe I'll just set that up now and uh, we'll see what happens uh, that's the first time I've tried that actually so yeah I'll put the Cali Tweed uh, and the FM3 I'll put the FM3 in the loop of the Cali Tweed and turn off the amp sim and then I'll see how that sounds set up all I've done is just taken that preset that I'd already made and instead of having the amp and cab block I've put the shunt or is it just the through um, basically a cable straight through or deleted the amp and cab essentially is what I've done and then just plugged it into the effects loop of the Cali Tweed and to me that sounds as good as any other delay or reverb that I've ever played <laughs> Strymon um, or um, Source Collider or any of those kind of things um, to me I'm not necessarily going to go out there and buy any new delay or reverb I think for quite a while just because I've come to the realization that the model is that I've already got if I start using them in this application in front of the amp I can get some really good sounds anyway um, so it's not really going to sell many pedals for anyone but uh, it's kind of I think a cool way to use your amp modelers so for me generally at home I'll be using a modeler and live I'll be using an amp uh, that's just the way that I've done things historically I like to have like a real amp on stage unless it's a space issue or uh, you know an in-ear gig then I'll use a modeler 
like a Kemper or the HX Stomp. Um, but I think if I ever do get out there and play live again, um, certainly this is something I think I'm going to be exploring just because I've got the HX Stomp, which I know I can set up a, a Strum Reverb type sound and uh, the FM3. But the other cool thing about it is that I can set up expression pedals to like affect the mix. This is something that I see quite a lot of the jazz guitarists that I dig, uh, you know, Jonathan Kreisberg, Mike Marino, those kind of players. Um, they'll have like the delay mix on an expression pedal, I think. Um, so you can effectively on the fly just say, oh, that's a little bit too much reverb or delay. I'll quickly back that up and you're not just stuck and you're not having to bend down and change things. So I think that's what I'm going to aim to do is set up um, I've already done it on the HX Stomp, but presets that I can have control over how much reverb and delay is coming through, and but also I'm really happy with the way that delays and reverb sound in general. Um, so I'll probably stick some improvised stuff on the end here, uh, but yeah, that's just what I've been doing today with the FM3 and kind of where I'm at with it now. I'm kind of super happy with it as a unit. I've read some people saying that some people have said that it, they feel it's underpowered. Um, but to me, there's quite a lot going on in that kind of sound for me, whether or not you've got loads and loads of blocks going on, it's like a different issue, but I've got like, you know, the Plex delay has got crazy amounts of stuff going on in it. Uh, I've got a reverb, uh, what else have I got in here? I've got a trim block. That's all I've got for that there, and you can get that much of a complex kind of sound going on. Um, then I can add an amp and a cab and that's running that no problem. Um, so I think it's got quite a bit of power under the hood. So for me, I think there's enough. For some people that are running uh, crazy presets, maybe you'd struggle a bit, you know, if you're running lots of EQs and all that sort of stuff. But there are loads of other places, so maybe you wouldn't use an EQ block anyway, because there's loads of other places that you can apply an EQ that's kind of always on. So. Maybe that's a way, maybe you have to just think about um, more efficient ways of creating blocks with the FM3. Similar to the HX Stomp on the Helix, to be fair. Um, you know, in the Helix you can afford to be kind of, uh, you know, run as much as you like. Whereas in the Stomp you have to think about your presets a little bit more. Uh, and I think maybe it's a similar situation with the Axe FX3 and the FM3, perhaps. Anyway, hopefully this was slightly useful. If you want that preset um, that I'm playing with, it will be in my uh, FM3 folder, which you can get access to if you just use the Buy Me A Coffee link. Uh, if there's anything useful in this video or anything you enjoyed, uh, you could also use the Buy Me A Coffee link, but only do it if you enjoyed this and you can afford it and yeah. Um, but yeah, that's just what I was wanting to talk about today. You know, the reason that I, th I think I've taken too long to explore this kind of stuff and I feel a bit silly to be honest because uh, you know I, I could have saved some money on like delay and reverb pedals potentially um, or you know it's just sounds that I find really inspiring so uh, I'm not sure why it took this long to do it but mm -hmm.